Hello, YouTubers. Just wanted to come to you all and uh, give you a little insight. I know some of you all are um, fans of the Breitling Bentley watches, and I wanted to uh, basically show you how to tell if the uh, watch that you're looking at is real or fake. Now, I've got one operating right now, which uh, you can pick up for about 50 bucks if you're a good negotiator. Uh, Canal Street in New York and really a lot of other places sometimes uh, in the islands you can pick them up as well they look nice I mean nothing wrong with it at all you know the the size is, is almost accurate the weight of it is not as heavy as a real Breitling but you can see right there you see the glare on the glass that's a telltale sign also you can see that the glass is raised off the top of the watch uh, it shouldn't be glass anyway. It shouldn't have any color at all, and it's definitely not going to be raised if it's a Breitling. Um, last thing, of course, you can look at the uh, movement, and you can see the. Uh, let me get that into focus. You see that second hand sweeping? Let's see if I can get that focus a little better image for you. Okay, I can't really get that focused in because of the glass on there. But anyway. There's a second hand on this watch, which is sweeping. Here, I'll try another one. There's a second hand right there, which is actually sweeping. It's got like what looks to be like a red and white tip on it. And a real Breitling doesn't have a red and white tip. It's actually got a red stem. And that is supposed to be a chronometer, not an actual second hand. So that's actually not supposed to be moving. Uh, the Breitling movement is very precise. It doesn't need a second hand. And um, that's what you're looking at right there. You can see the second hands on each of those uh, moving. But they do look very, very nice. But if you really want to step it up and, you know, represent Breitling, then just spend the money. Get the real thing. That's the Breitling. Movement is precise. Has world time. As you can see, looks a lot like the other watches. There's another one. But when you put the Fugazis next to the real thing, there's really no comparison. Again, I'll show you that glass, or that crystal basically. It has a little bit of a glare on it, but you can see right there, it's really not raised off the watch at all. But the uh, if you stand outside, that crystal will actually disappear. The steel, the watch is much heavier. The steel is a surgical steel surgical stainless steel and the uh, I mean for fifty dollars versus you know twenty thousand I mean it's a very good replica but um, something to be said about roaring the real thing so that's a couple tips I hope it does help and uh, please subscribe I'll be bringing you guys more videos all types of crazy stuff thank you so much